This is how nightmares begin, or maybe end. I'd enjoyed smoking the medical marijuana that the Democrats had made possible, and I'd known that the midterm elections were approaching. But I was as uninterested in voting as Sarah Palin is in reading a newspaper. I'd enthusiastically supported Obama and the Democrats in 2008, but by the time the midterms had rolled around, I was disheartened. We hadn't gotten the public option, an end to don't ask, don't tell. There were no torture prosecutions of the Bush administration, and Obama had widened the war in Afghanistan. Even though, in the majority, the Democrats had immediately caved to Republican bullying at every sad opportunity. But instead of doubling down our efforts to promote a progressive agenda, the liberals had decided to just set out the 2010 midterm elections. The economy was in bad shape. We were back to driving colorless cars from the 1940s. And then, out of nowhere, they landed from another planet. The teabaggers. They seized control of our car radios and promoted right-wing agendas. They printed signs naming all of the countries they planned to invade. And then, they wanted to take over the United States government itself. So the teabag party held a convention to choose its candidates and to articulate its policies. Strangely, the delegates to this teabag convention were almost exclusively white, pot-bellied men who were balding and emotionally embittered. Then they introduced their candidates. I proudly accept the teabag nomination. We teabaggers are wired differently. We do not speak with our mouths. We talk out our assholes, while shit comes out our mouths. We are going to balance the budget by cutting taxes. We are going to get government off our backs by outlawing abortions and gay marriage. We are going to increase national security by pissing off all Muslims worldwide, and by harassing anyone in the United States who even looks foreign. Senor Valdez of Argentina is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Senor, could you please inform us precisely why have you chosen this planet for your visit? You sound like a foreigner to me, and I don't like that. I'm reporting you to the governor of Arizona. By this time tomorrow, you will be a headless torso in the Arizona desert. Uh, monsieur, my government wishes me to ask you the, the nature of your health. What forms will it take? Indeed, if we should prefer not to avail ourselves of the various aids that you mentioned, your reply would be what? Oh, Jesus Christ in heaven, a foreigner from France. But in answer to your question, the Teabag Party doesn't recognize the results of any election in which conservatives are defeated. Are we to assume that there is no ulterior motive beyond this vast humanity you speak of? Our motivations are quite transparent. The rich should vote for the Teabaggers because we want to cut taxes for millionaires. But we have got to fool the middle class and the poor into voting for us. We have to trick those on Social Security and Medicare and disability into believing that the government on which they depend for their very survival is somehow their biggest enemy. This would be a difficult challenge to overcome in a society that was educated and well informed. But in America, people are easy to scare and whip into corporate submission. They don't want government involvement in their Social Security and Medicare. 
Their ignorance and hypocrisy can be further exploited by our teabagger candidates when we appeal to their racial and religious prejudices as well. The fact that millions of Americans look to Sarah Palin as their intellectual leader should tell you something. But the teabag party will seize upon American gullibility and use this weakness to benefit big business. We've licked the title anyway. What does it say? How much does it tell us? Here it is. These are the standard instruments used to determine the truth or falsity of a statement. Because the teabaggers are wired up ass backwards, we are going to run a trial examination to see whether members of the Tea Party have physiological responses the same as human beings. Which card more closely resembles the color and size of Tiger Woods' penis? The gray. Again. Which card more closely resembles the color and size of Tiger Woods' penis? The black. Through extensive testing, we have determined that the polygraph instrument can indeed determine the truth or falsity of a teabagger statement. Now, Let's ask our teabagger candidate an important question. What really attracts you to brain-dead politicians like Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachmann? Watching Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachmann and all the blonde bimbos on Fox News wearing the short skirts is the closest thing to porno that our conservative, dried-up, hagged-out wives will let us watch. This also explains why all of us teabagger men are always so frustrated and angry. We are pussy whipped. And the polygraph showed that the teabagger was telling the truth. But the midterm election was growing ever closer. And a newspaper article written by Charlie Cook and Chuck Todd said that the conservatives were pulling ahead. I told my girlfriend that there was a very real possibility that the Democrats would lose control of the Senate and the House, and that she and all three of her daughters should go ahead with their abortions now instead of waiting till after November. Don't wait until the eighth month like President Obama would want them to do. She responded that she couldn't afford an abortion now, since subscriptions to her porn site had fallen dramatically following the explosion of her meth lab. I felt compassion for her, so I gave her a coupon that I'd clipped from Hustler magazine. If you paid for two abortions, you got the third one at half price, plus a free hat and two cans of Red Bull. Courageously, my girlfriend said she would continue her valiant attempt to decipher the content of the teabagger's secret book. Mr. Chambers, Mr. Chambers, don't get on that ship, that book, screwing the middle class. They're, they're trying to bring back the exact policies of George Bush! <laughs>